Welcome to Wrecker's Insane, Insane Guide to Insane, Insane Mode. In today's guide, we'll be looking at the Thieves Forest. We'll start with a general rule. So if you forget everything said in this video, you can remember this one thing. The most important thing when it comes to Thieves Forest is juggling. You are going to want to master the light juggle. This can be done by jumping in the air and then doing a combo of two light attacks followed by two heavy attacks. Repeating this combo on the same enemy will allow you to juggle them, keeping them in the air indefinitely and preventing them from damaging you. With that out of the way, let's begin the Thieves Forest. So the majority of Thieves Forest are going to contain, well, thieves. On insane mode, thieves will have 500 HP. So assuming you're on a character with pretty decent stats, the thieves themselves shouldn't take too long to take down, especially if you are juggling them. The only thing to really look out for is their arrows. But let's be real, the real reason you clicked on this guide isn't for the thieves, it's for the troll mother. Although the troll mother is the third boss in castle crashes, she actually ends up being one of the hardest bosses to fight in all of insane mode. Boasting a whopping 10,500 HP, the troll mother is an extremely difficult boss fight. She will regularly spawn trolls to aid her in battle as she will not attack you herself, with each troll having 500 HP and dealing 80 damage. So one troll on their own isn't too bad but if you get caught in a group, well you're dead. So how do we avoid this death? So juggling is going to be the most important thing in this boss fight. It helps do damage to the boss, damage to the trolls and completely avoid damage to yourself. At the beginning of the fight, there won't be too many trolls as she will be spawning them in. This means you are relatively safe to just do all your damage on the troll mother. But eventually there will be many trolls making it a lot more difficult. Now I wouldn't recommend defeating the trolls as she will just spawn in more making it kind of pointless. For the first three quarters of the troll mother's health, I will focus all of my damage on the troll mother. I do this by jumping in the air and spamming my life attack. This will keep me in the air doing constant damage. If I do begin to fall then doing a couple heavy attacks will increase your height. But whilst doing these attacks I am constantly looking left and right with every single hit. This is to prevent any trolls from coming up behind me and knocking me down. But if you are playing a character such as the industrialist you could also spam magic for this phase but do be careful of the trolls around you. So once the troll mother's health drops to about a quarter left she will begin to move every single time she takes damage. This means we can no longer jump and do damage on the spot or spam magic. This is when your juggling is going to play a massive part. You're going to want to focus all of your attention on the trolls themselves. You do this by beginning a juggle that is jumping in the air and doing a light light heavy heavy combination. You're going to want to repeat this combination whilst moving left and right in order to keep the juggle going. You will eventually pick up more trolls in this juggle and the more trolls in it the better. This just decreases your chances of being hit by a troll that is not in your juggle. So how is this going to damage the boss? Well the troll mother can't help but get a little curious to what you're doing to her babies and every now and then she will wonder within range of your attacks meaning you'll be able to get a few hits on her. Now this method is by far the most consistent and safest way of defeating the troll mother as at this stage you can't really focus her as she will always run away when attacked. So by doing this method you are keeping yourself safe from all the trolls as well as letting the troll mother wander into your damage. This is the method that I used to beat the troll mother on insane mode with no stats and it took me 33 tries to finally figure this method out. There is going to be a lot of patience in this fight but but if you're willing to grit it out then this is a very safe way of defeating the troll mother. And that is how you defeat the troll mother on insane mode. I'm going to turn this into a mini series for the channel, helping you guys defeat difficult areas and bosses on insane mode. So if you want to become the ultimate chad and flex them golden skulls, make sure you subscribe for the future guides on this channel. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.